Hey there, everyone. This is Trish from Bird Feed. Thanks for joining me today for another Operation Christmas Child shoebox unboxing. Well, a year of packing shoeboxes would not be complete without a superhero box or two, right? So today's unboxing is a Marvel Avengers themed shoebox for a five to nine year old boy. And I hope you enjoy it as much as I believe this young boy will. The box is wrapped in red paper with blue and white stars, kind of superheroes looking. And inside the lid, I chose to decorate it with some packaging of items that are inside the box. A couple of superheroes, Captain America and the Hulk. I just spray glued this to some cardstock that I printed just from Google Docs. Uh, you are a superhero and God loves you. When he opens his box, he's going to see it filled with superhero stuff. And he's got a plush Spider Man that moves. He's got movable arms and legs, and they kind of twist in different directions and I got him on clearance at Walgreens after Christmas for $1.39. He has a couple of superhero figures also from Walgreens after Christmas clearance $1.39 each. We have the Hulk. He also has movable arms and waist and Captain America, which it looks like I've lost his shield. Captain America has a shield that goes on his hand, arm, I should say. So he's got this little Captain America guy. And he has a a villain. Well, not a. Vi I didn't have a villain figure, and I figured, uh, in order for the superheroes to save the day, they would have to have something in here that was villainish. So I did have a Green Goblin car, and I thought it was cool looking, so I included Green Goblin's car. We'll just pretend he's inside. He has a soap dish with a four ounce bar of soap. And I like these soap dishes. I get them from the Dollar Tree when they have the, the bonus three packs. I like them because they work great as a soap dish, but when it comes time that he doesn't have soap, this is a, a great container for little treasures or for food for his family, um, keeping things maybe a little bit fresher than normally they would be. So I, I do like to include these whenever I can fit them. You know, it's bulkier than just a bar of soap, but I do like to put those in whenever I can. He has a crank flashlight. I got this from the Dollar Tree around Christmas time. They carry these. And he has a Marvel shirt in, it's kind of a really dark, charcoal. I keep calling it a dark charcoal. It might be black, but it looks like dark charcoal to me with uh, Spider-Man, Captain America, and the Hulk on it. And on the back, it has their emblems and it says team up. And this shirt, I actually didn't pay anything for. It's from Target. It was originally $12, but um, some of you may have seen my video where you get I got free things from Target. That was when I opened up my red card and they sent me a coupon good on $40 worth of merchandise and I spent a lot of it on Operation Christmas Child and that was one of the things that I got so that didn't cost me anything. Then I thought this was a perfect backpack to include in here in the red and blue. This was a dollar find 
after back to school last year from Walmart for one buck. So he's got a backpack for school. Instead of a spiral notebook, I included this three ring binder. I, I couldn't pass it up. This was from the Dollar Tree, but uh, I filled it with a uh, hundred sheets of loose leaf paper. So this should last him a while, at least as long, if not longer than a three ring binder. He's got that for school. He also has a pencil case filled with eight pencils, four number twos and four decorated pencils, and then um, six colored pencils. He has some pens, I think a black and a blue ink pen. He's got a Spider-Man pen, and this I picked up at Wal no, Walmart after Christmas clearance, so I only paid 90% of the original price and I don't remember that what that was. So this was either anywhere from, I, I doubt this was originally a dollar, it was probably more than that. So let's say I paid 29 cents for it. Either 29 or 19 cents for that. And he's got a pair of red blunt tip scissors. He's got a Spider-Man eraser, which I got at Walmart. Uh, on clearance and this was nine cents. He may not even know that it's eraser, but I tried, I included it in his pencil pouch in hopes he would make the connection. He's got a regular pink eraser and I also put in there um, three rocket ship cap erasers. So he's got plenty of erasers and he's got a couple of um, pencil sharpeners, handheld pencil sharpeners. So that's what's in his blue pencil pouch for school. He has an Avengers book and it says, you know, a little bit about each character. So if he is not familiar with the Marvel Avengers characters, this can help him see that they are the good guys and, you know, they come to save the day. I like the story that Emily from Love in a Shoebox tells about uh, sending books with English words in it to countries who may not speak English as their first language. She'd heard from the recipient, so one of the mothers of the recipient of one of her boxes uh, said that she, they loved getting the books that had the English words in it so that uh, they could practice their English. It helped them. And I've often said, you know, they don't really even need to read the words to enjoy the pictures and make up the story. So he's got a board book. Then he has a pair of Avengers, Marvel Avengers sunglasses. I don't know if you can see on the inside of that. And these I got for $1 at Walmart on clearance. He has a, ooh, I do that all the time when you open these things up, they really pop out. And it's a flying disc, <laughs> so he should get a kick out of that when he tries to do it himself. You really have to hold on to it or if it gets, it gets away from you. But they're a lot of fun for that very, very reason. And they do fly well. So I get those in bulk on Amazon, probably paid like 45 cents for it. He's got a little container Spider-Man heart container. This was from Valentine's Day after uh, Valentine's Day clearance at Walmart and so were these bouncy balls. It fits three bouncy balls perfectly in this container. He's got a little noisemaker, a whistle, and this is from Dollar Tree Party section. Comes in a six pack. 
He has a magic washcloth of Spider-Man, and this was nine cents magic towel from Walmart after Easter clearance. Hence the shape of the egg. He's got a couple of pairs of socks, black with gray and black with blue. Those I got really cheap at Walmart on clearance, so they were like 16 cents a pair. Now, I splurged a little on this cape and mask. Uh, I had intended to use the Dollar Tree capes to put in here and a mask from the Dollar Tree. But when I put this box together, which was a while ago, they didn't have these. The last time I saw them was last year, like around this time of year. And so I got, went online and splurged on a set of five capes. Um, they have both Marvel and DC um, characters in them, which is why I liked the set, because it had both. So this is a, a fantastic cape. I'll open it up here. It's red on one side, black on the other, with Spider-Man and a little felt Spider-Man mask. So when I say I splurged, instead of $2 buying a cape and a mask separately at the Dollar Tree, which would have been much lesser quality, this was $3.80, because I bought the five pack for $18.99. And I'll link that below um, for you guys. Uh, I also put in a cotton face mask, should he need this in his country. He's got a letter from me with a photo. It says beautiful child on it. And he's got a couple of pairs of underwear, Fruit of the Loom. Um, these are the boxer briefs. I think they're really cool colors, green and blue and orange. And he has a coloring book. You know, I always put a coloring book in all my shoe boxes. I loved coloring as a kid and I just think it's an important, fun activity for any child to do. And this one has an Avengers eraser on it, which I forgot this had an eraser. So now he's got a whole lot of erasers. And inside, and this, I think was, this was $3 from um, Dollar General, but I bought it on clearance for 30 cents. Bought quite a few of these. So in his um, coloring book, He's got some Marvel Avengers stickers, two sheets, two or three. No, he's got three sheets, three different sheets. And then I put in a sheet of fingerlings and a sheet of monster trucks just to uh, spice it up a little bit. And then the, I like the, the illustrations in this book are on that white paper and they're just really cool illustrations. So he's got that, which I think he will enjoy. And I have also included coloring books so he can either color or use his colored pencils because I did put uh, six colored pencils in his um, pencil pack. He's got a toothbrush with a cap a couple of hair combs, and that completes the Marvel Super Heroes 5 to 9 Boy Shoe Box. I hope you enjoyed it and got some ideas and inspiration for your shoe boxes. Thanks so much for watching today, and if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell button so you'll be notified of all my upcoming videos, and I'll catch you in my next one. Bye now.